Hey guys, welcome to Charcoal King. Hey, today, another controversy. You heard me, cornbread. And it don't matter how you make it. You can go, hey, I don't like sugar in my cornbread. I don't like all that crap in my cornbread. I like all that crap in my cornbread. Cornbread should be made in a cast iron skillet. Cornbread should be made however you make it. Whatever it is, I'm making my cornbread and it starts now. All right guys, so let's get this show on the road. I've got my oven preheated at 450. All right, I've got my two little cast iron skillets. Okay, the only reason why I've got two of them is because I actually prefer the crunchies of the cornbread. I like the edges done. I like it where it just, ooh, I love it. So instead of making one big pan and you cut a triangle out of it and you don't get the edges as much, we make little ones and it's like your own personal, like, ooh, like deep dish almost pizza. But we're making cornbread and we're making it good. And I don't care what you say, we're putting sugar in it, we're putting green cheese in it, we're putting cream corn in it, we're putting uh, green chilies, whatever. It's loaded. It's got everything in it except bacon. Let's get started. Wet ingredients first. One egg and the shell, just to make sure that it's a real egg. All right, one small can of green chilies. You can use the mild, hot, you can use jalapenos, smoked, roasted poblanos out of this world. My girls, they'll eat it if it's mild, so that's what we got. All right. We have three quarter cup of buttermilk. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. We have a quarter cup of sour cream. We have a half a cup of cream corn. Golly, you can't tell me it's already starting off good. You can't do it. A good bit of salt, I don't know, maybe about a quarter teaspoon. We're gonna put a tablespoon of sugar. And we're gonna put one and a half cups of shredded cheese. Now with that, we're just gonna mix it up. All right, now that we got that mixed up, let's add, let's see here, one and a quarter cup of cornmeal. Now, depending on what kind of cornmeal you like, there's a ton of it out there. I got good old white lily Buttermilk corn cornmeal. All right, I'm gonna fold this in. You can whisk it in. Just mix it in completely. And I actually don't know if it's technically accurate, but if you just give it a couple minutes and go ahead and make this ahead of time while your pans are preheating, your cornmeal will be a little bit lighter. It starts developing with the buttermilk and the, the chemical compounds of it. And I think it creates for a fluffier, lighter cornbread. You don't have to let it rest all day, but just don't make it and then throw it right into the pan. So we're gonna let that rest. Our cast iron skillet's coming up to temperature and we will be right back. All right guys, so my guess is it's been about five to seven minutes, okay? I'm gonna bring your cast, my cast iron skillets out. Remember, they're piping hot. And I actually prefer to warm them up without the oils in them first. It just stops the oils from getting too hot. Then they start smoking and all that stuff because we're going for a hot temperature. I love it when that, you'll see it when we pour the cornbread in there and it just starts like almost frying around the edges. All right, so whatever oil you wanna use, bacon fat, all that stuff, obviously, I don't think butter really works that well. You just wanna coat the bottom a little bit. I've got a little bit of avocado oil, a little bit of olive oil. And I'm gonna put them back in there just for a couple minutes to warm that oil back up. And the reason why I have it on a sheet pan, obviously it came out hot, I'm showing you guys. But I also like to rub my oil, be careful, just around the edges of your cast iron. Now you can do this with a brush 
a spoon or anything if you don't feel comfortable. It's kind of awkward for me doing it with a camera on, but. Obviously you're just trying to create that oil, the oil where the uh, cornbread rises. Just a little bit more protection. All right, just for maybe like two minutes, like I said, the cast iron is extremely hot already. We'll let that oil come up to temperature. We're gonna add our cornbread and it's game over. You guys might think like, who in the heck just makes cornbread? Like nothing to go with it? Is he kidding me? Mm -mm. No. This is what you call Southern. Ooh. Melt in your mouth. Dang, that smells good. Sweet and tender. I guess it's really not sweet. Beef roast. With all the vegetables on the side. Had it in the oven at 275 for about five and a half, six hours. God almighty. All right, let's get this cornbread. All right, remember, we put it in there, we warm up the oil, cast iron's hot. Show you guys what it looks like. What temperature is the oven on? 450, we want it hot, okay? Don't be scared. This isn't like a, see, I don't know if you can see this, but see if I can pull back. I don't know, maybe not. You see some air pockets in there when I, you know, moved it up a little bit, but. That's the whole point of see it, see it right there. See the air pockets forming. That's how you create that light. You hear it? Now don't overfill these. You just want a good mound about, I don't know about that much. Oh, that looks good. Of course I chose the healthy oil because why not, you know? All right, let's get these bad boys back in there before they drop on temp. We're going to put these in the oven and we're going to cook them until they come out clean. Ooh, and all that cheese melts on the inside. Shit. All right guys, so we're done. I just checked them. They are looking absolutely pound chicken. That's what you call slap with mama cornbread. Mm. All right, let's move them over here. Now everybody knows you have butter and cornbread. Everybody knows. I ain't gonna let it cool, I ain't no fool. All right, let's see what we got underneath though. All right, let's see what happens. Woo. I don't know if we can see that. Can we see that? You ready? Slow mo. Oh, look, at, look at that. Look at that. That is just absolutely. Oh. There's only one other thing to do. Mm. Let it rest a little bit more. But who are we kidding? Look how airy that is. You hear that silence? This is me thinking that I'm either gonna die from this bite because it's so hot, or I'm gonna marvel in the fact that this butter. Everything you want in cornbread, everything. It's got the heat, it's soft. Oh, the green, oh, everything is going through my, everything. My all time favorite. Cuss it, condemn it, like it, love it. It doesn't matter. It's my cornbread and I just brung it to you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound that notification button and Tell your friends that you got a new recipe for cornbread. Because the charcoal king.
from this damn thing home. Of course.